What's up guys? It is Rob from Movie Review Time and I'm back with a brand new list video. I have been tagged once again by Chucky Doll to do my top six favorite movie actors. And I kind of took it a step further. Instead of doing my top six, I am going to do my top ten. Because there are some that I want to mention and I also have some honorable mentions at the end of the video that did not make my top 10 list. And you might be actually surprised by this, my list overall. But it's a very interesting idea. And um, yeah, I will put Chucky Doll's uh, channel in the description. Go subscribe to him. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, it's just my opinion. Um, top 10. Favorite movie actors. Starting with number 10. Gary Sinise. Gary Sinise to me is a very, very underrated actor. Uh, I love him in movies like Of Mice and Men, which he actually directed. Which is a remake of the original with Burgess Meredith. But uh, him and John Malkovich right there of Mice and Men. Of course, he's in one of my favorite Ron Howard films, Ransom. Of course, you know, he plays the uh, villain. Definitely one of my favorite Stephen King adaptations uh, directed by Mick Garris. And it is The Stand, which is the four-part miniseries. Gary Sinise also in Forrest Gump, Mission to Mars, uh, Apollo 13. The guy is brilliant. Um, yeah, I want to see him in a lot more movies. It's just, I, you know, whenever I see him on screen, I just, I love it. So, uh, yeah, I had to mention him. Gary Sinise comes in at number 10 for me. All right, uh, coming in at number nine for me is John Travolta. Whether he's playing a bad guy or you know, um, doing a doing a comedy or a musical or whatever he's doing, he's awesome. You know, action movies, Broken Arrow. You know, he's in Face Off and Grease. Of course, who can forget Grease? You know, like Basic and uh, one of my favorites, Domestic Disturbance. He didn't lie to me. Of course, this is the one I grew up with here, Urban Cowboy, with Deborah Winger. And, of course, who can forget Look Who's Talking. And uh, Look Who's Talking too. He was also in Look Who's Talking Now. But John Travolta, you know, he was the villain in uh, The Punisher. He's awesome, man. John Travolta's great. Uh, I do like a lot of his older films more than some of the newer stuff he puts out. Not to say that his newer stuff isn't good, but uh, I really like the guy. He's a great actor. Um... So I definitely think he deserves, um, you know, to be in my top ten. So number nine is John Travolta. Coming in at number eight is Patrick Wilson. Um, Patrick Wilson is a fantastic actor. You know, his role in Aquaman as Ocean Master was perfect. When he had the mask on, perfect. Um, you know, he's in movies like Hard Candy, The Zipper, um, of course, you know, Bone Tomahawk, like I said, but, uh, you know, The Conjuring films, Insidious films. Um, he's great. He was also in uh, one of my favorite films, uh, starring Michael Keaton, is The Founder. He's also in that movie. Uh, you know, once in a while he'll pop up in, in certain certain movies as more than just a cameo, really. But he doesn't have like a major part. But he is he's brilliant. I love his. He just he's so committed. It just seems like uh, he seems like a really cool guy in real life. You know, that's a that's one actor that I'd like to meet in real life is Patrick Wilson. So, he comes in at number eight for me. 
Okay, so coming in at number seven is none other than Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton, I love a lot of his older older movies, you know, uh, One Good Cop, um, you know, Beetlejuice, of course. Um, definitely a great film right here, Mr. Mom. Um, you know, of course, uh, he is my favorite Batman overall. Michael Keaton is fantastic as Batman. Batman Returns. Of course, um, like I mentioned, The Founder, where he plays um, uh, Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's. Um, you know, he, he kind of plays sort of a douchebag who, who uh, manipulates these two brothers to take over the company. And he played it perfect. He's so good in that movie. The Founder is one of my favorite films. Definitely my top five favorite Michael Keaton films. Michael Keaton is great. Um, I loved him in Spider-Man Homecoming as the Vulture. And, you know, he played a terrific bad guy. I just, yeah, I, I hear that he's going to be doing a Beetlejuice too. I'm not sure if that's going to be, I'm not sure if that's greenlit or not, but man, he, he just plays some iconic characters. And, um, yeah, he's just one of my favorites. Michael Keaton comes in at number seven. Coming in at number six... Definitely one of my favorites for sure. Number six, Kevin Bacon. Of course, uh, Footloose, a movie I grew up with right there. Of course, he plays a villain in The River Wild. Of course, one of my favorite horror movies of all time, Tremors. He plays Valentine. Definitely an underrated horror film, Stir of Echoes. Fantastic Kevin Bacon film right there. Death Sentence. Definitely my top five favorite Kevin Bacon films. And of course, Hollow Man. The list goes on and on. It goes on and on. Cop Car. He was in that movie, The Air Up There. A Few Good Men. I mean, the list goes on. He is a great actor as well. And it pisses me off they canceled that Tremors TV show where he comes back as Valentine. That pissed me off. Oh man, I wanted him. I wanted it so bad for him to come back. Of course, he was in like Wild Things, <clears throat> some of his smaller role roles that he did. But Kevin Bacon's great. He, uh, yeah, I love the guy. So uh, that's number six. Number five just kind of makes me sad talking about it. But um, I, I don't know. I, I love the guy. He. Uh, I wish you know I could have met him because he just seems like a really cool guy, or he did seem because he's he's uh, passed away. Um, and it is Patrick Swayze. Uh, I grew up with a lot of his movies, you know, Roadhouse, of course. Uh, my, one of my personal favorites, Red Dawn, definitely an amazing film. Uh, this just got released on Blu-ray. Young Blood with him and Rob Lowe, who were together in the movie Outsiders, which I'm going to mention next. Another movie with Patrick Swayze and Rob Lowe together. Uh, definitely one of my favorites here, Point Break, uh, Patrick Swayze. Here's a classic right here, Ghost. Another classic Patrick Swayze film. And then, of course, this one, Dirty Dancing. I do like Dirty Dancing. I, I grew up with this movie. I can, I can admit that I do like it. <clears throat> I like the music. Um, and it's it's just, when you think of Patrick Swayze, the first thing you think of is Dirty Dancing. Or Ghost. That's, that's just it. And uh, here's an underrated one, Black Dog. That's also another underrated Patrick Swayze movie. Then there's like Next of Kin. There's a, there's a bunch. Um, Patrick Swayze, you know, he passed away, uh, and it, it just it really broke my heart. Um, I just I just can't believe it. Uh, and so yeah, I had to mention him in my top ten for sure. Um, coming in at number four is another shot in the heart for me. A guy that uh, I really enjoyed when it came to his movies. Um, and that is Robin Williams coming in at number five. Or wait, number four, sorry. Number four is Robin Williams. Uh, one Hour Photo, of course, one of his different roles. And then Mrs. Doubtfire, probably my favorite, hands down, my favorite Robin Williams film, Mrs. Doubtfire. And they were going to make a sequel to that, I heard. 
Uh, of course, Good Morning Vietnam. Um, he, he had so many great movies. Uh, Hook. One that no one really talks about, Father's Day, which I actually enjoyed. You know, then there's the movie Jack with Diane Lane. Um, toys. Um, what Dreams May Come, which is about death, which is odd. It's like he, he's in heaven and hell, uh, which was a great role for him. <laughs> Patch Adams. He was in so many great movies. And, uh, you know, when I heard that he passed away, that just, that really nipped it right there. Um, sooner or later, everyone, you know, passes away. But it just, I don't know. You, you hold these people in such high regard, you know, and you don't want to ever see anything happen. So, um, yeah, number four is Robin Williams, um, hands down. Um... <clears throat> Number three is a no-brainer, and that is Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is, uh, he's a gifted actor. Forrest Gump is definitely my top five favorite Tom Hanks films for sure. And then uh, this one, which I absolutely loved, is Captain Phillips. Captain Phillips is definitely up there. Um, Sully, I thought was really, really good. Uh, definitely in my top five here. Apollo 13, of course, has Kevin Bacon in it as well, and Gary Sinise, who I just mentioned in my top 10. Um, Saving Private Ryan, of course, got to mention that one. Uh, here's an old one, A League of Their Own, where he plays a baseball coach. <clears throat> of course, his work in the Polar Express. Um, you know, here he is in Punchline with um, Sally Field, which is which is weird because. You know they were both in Forrest Gump so that was kind of interesting of course a classic right here Turner and Hooch and of course you got you know big you got um, like bachelor uh, was it bachelor party um, he's been in so, the burbs uh, just so many you know Toy Story Tom Hanks is just he is a class A actor he really is he's brilliant so you know if you don't put tom hanks in your top 10 you know you're you're missing out for sure so that's uh he comes in at number three coming in at number two is none other than tom cruise tom cruise has so many great movies and the guy is always committed to his roles he puts 110 percent in each role he does whether he's doing his own stunts or, 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 you know, committing to, like, driving a NASCAR or, or flying a plane. You know, whatever he's doing. Jumping off a, a building. The guy is, he just makes Stallone and them look, you know, useless. He's still got it at his, at his you know, at um, his movies that he makes today. He really does a lot of work on his, uh, his own stunts. Of course, you got Top Gun. One of my personal favorites, A Few Good Men, that stars, uh, you know, Jack Nicholson and Demi Moore, which also has Kevin Bacon. One of my favorite football movies, All the Right Moves, of course. A lot of his older films. Days of Thunder, of course. Last Samurai, one of my favorites in my top five. Um, Edge of Tomorrow. And, of course, uh, you know, War of the Worlds. Classic, Rain Man, Kmart Sucks. Cocktail, The Firm, The Mission Impossible films, Jerry Maguire. I can go on and on and on with Tom Cruise. You know, Risky Business, um, Taps. So many great Tom Cruise films out there. I just, um, the guy, like I said, he puts 100% 100 effort into anything he does. So what, you know, I think he is definitely part of the action genre. He definitely knows his stuff. Um, I always hoped that one day that he would be in an Expendables movie. I think he would be a great asset in an Expendables film. I mean, the guy's earned it. He's earned his place. And that brings me to my number one favorite actor. And I think you can guess because I am a fanboy of him. Sylvester Stallone hands down my favorite actor um i just like 
pretty much all of his movies. Pretty much. There's there's just a few that I don't care for. But, you know, the Rocky movies, of course. Um, you know, Cliffhanger, of course. Demolition Man, Nighthawks. Uh, you know, I got Cobra in there. The Specialist, Assassins. Over the Top, of course. Uh, underrated film, Lock Up, right there. Probably his best performance since Rocky, Copland, and, you know, Daylight, and there's Oscar, there's Rhinestone, you know, Stallone, the Rambo movies are probably one of the, some of the best action he's ever done. The guy has really, really got the label of action icon, you know, and um, it probably even will be on his tombstone. The guy is number one when it comes to action for me i mean there's bruce willis and arnold which didn't make my list um but um yeah stallone is my number one favorite actor um so there you go uh just my opinion those are my top you know that's my top 10 probably a little obscure to some of you but um they're just some of my favorite films and some of my favorite actors portraying characters Honorable mentions, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I, he didn't make the list because I like a lot of Arnold's movies, but to me, Arnold is Arnold. <clears throat> I never really, you never really see his acting chops, so to say. There's just a few movies that that kind of do that, but you know, he's just playing Arnold, so, such as like The Rock, the the Dwayne the Rock Johnson. The only movie I thought he showed his acting chops was Snitch. Um, other than that, I feel like he's, even the new Hobbs and Shaw movie, he's playing The Rock. He's playing the same, with sh clean shaven, showing your muscles, the same character he's been playing. So, you know, it just kind of pisses me off in that regard. But that's why he, he didn't make my list. Michael J. Fox is another one. Um, you know, the Back to the Future movies, The Frighteners, uh, Teen Wolf, which is definitely one of my favorites. Doc Hollywood. Um... Yeah, Michael J. Fox, yeah, he's definitely one um, that I love. Ralph Macchio, of course, the Karate Kid films. Uh, you know, My Cousin Vinny. He was in The Outsiders, which was my um, introduction to Ralph Macchio. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's brilliant. And, of course, the Cobra Kai series. He's doing a very good job with that. Harrison Ford. I can go on and on with honorable mentions. Bruce Willis, uh, Mel Gibson, you know, Mel Gibson, um, John Candy. Chevy Chase. There's, there's so many great actors. It's impossible to really go over all of them. But the ones that are in my top ten just mean something to me. Their movies mean something to me. Their, their, the characters they're playing, iconic roles. Um, it's just, yeah, I just, I had to make my top ten and just mention some of these. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, just my opinions. Let me know what you think of some of these actors that I mentioned uh, down in the comments. Um, if you want to do a response to this video, please do so. I'm not going to tag anybody because uh, Chucky Dell tagged a lot of people. And I believe Sean Urshan did this tag and he tagged like a lot of people as well. So I'm not going to do it. Um, if you see this video and you want to do a response, you know, mine's going to be different than a lot of others because I'm doing top 10 to, instead of top 6. But my top 6 is still in there. You know, my top six would be Kevin Bacon as number six, number five, Patrick Swayze, number four, Robin Williams, number three, Tom Hanks, number two, Tom Cruise, and number one, Stallone. So there's my top six. I just added more. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching this. Stay tuned for more videos. This is Rob signing off, and I'll see you guys next time.